you on the base of the San Gabriel Mountains. Grand Valley State leading Azusa Pacific 10-7 at the half. Terrell Watson has been the offense for this team in this opening half. And with more on the All-American, we go downstairs to Rashawn Ali. All right, thank you so much, Jason. Yes, running back Terrell Watson has broken almost every rushing record, even the one set by Christian Okoye, who later went on to play for the Kansas City Chiefs. But as Kat Anderson explains, the key to his success is not even supposed to be there because they said he wasn't supposed to go to college. You understand that the value is right now. You really don't have the next moment. It comes as no surprise to the coaches at Azusa Pacific University that Terrell Watson is the focal point of the team, especially in the weeks leading up to their opening game. He's explosive, he's big, he's powerful. I think he's one of the best running backs around the entire country. The numbers speak for themselves. He broke all of Christian Okoye's records. I mean, he kind of shattered the records, actually. They say Watson has a gift. He is freakishly great with visually seeing things. And so uh, we can diagram something up on the board, and Terrell can take the time, capture in his mind, and go out and perform it. There's a term for that, and it has something to do with having a sixth sense, an awareness, a, an unusual ability to see certain things. When I play, I learn how to slow down my head. I, it's like, yeah, people are moving fast. Of course, you have people flying around, but you slow it down and you look at things you need to look at. I, I always kind of joke with them and go, it's like the matrix in your mind, isn't it? It's just really slow and you're able to anticipate and make the moves you need to make. So that has to be a huge advantage, the yeah, fact that you can anticipate their yeah, move. It's a huge advantage. Be able to go tell the coach what the defense ran five, 10 plays ago. Coach Raymond, I'm like, this, this guy tackled me. I don't know why this guy was standing by himself. Just watching knowing when blitzes are coming down. If I see a safety rollover over a corner, that's odd. The safety's obviously coming. Someone's coming from that side. And I remember getting the headset to Coach Bias. I'm like, Bias, they're blitzing the linebackers, they're pinching the ends. We just run a screen play, we'll be fine. And I remember, by, okay, that kid's like, yeah, I see that, I see that, I see that. And then we ran the play and it worked. So with the feedback that he gives us, we respect it because we do understand he sees it in slow motion. We do understand that he can anticipate. So we can make some adaptations throughout the game plan based off of what he gives us. It's special. It really is when you, when you think about it. It makes me feel good because we know where he came from. Watson was an infant when he was dropped off on their doorstep by his teenage mother. And there's a knock on the front door and Billy goes to the door. And when he opens the door, it's this little baby in a carriage and... I don't like saying, uh, don't tell. <laughs> I don't believe this. And he walks out and looks around and then this car just takes off. And the moment I walked out there, Billy was holding little Terrell and he had these big old curls and those big pretty green eyes. And when he looked at me, all the anger, everything I wanted to say to her, it just went away. His teenage mother was actually Billy Watson's daughter. The Watsons adopted Terrell, raised him as their son, and soon discovered he had a learning disability. He was in special ed since he was in elementary when he first started school. Reading, comprehending stuff was super hard. I remember being like in, being in the fifth grade and like reading at the first grade level. And I'm reading a book, get done the book, I have no idea what I read because I'm so focused on the words, what I'm reading, and not really listening to myself reading it. And like, I remember my first time I knew how to spell cat, dog, and like all these like house, like all these weird small stuff. Like I was learning how to spell that in the fifth grade. And some teachers, well, I don't know if he'll go to college. No, he's going to college. My Terrell's going to go to college. She discovered that if he heard the information or saw it in picture form, he could recall it with the precision of someone who had a photographic memory. He was more visual. So if we studied for something, I would have pictures. And, and once I told him, man, it was in there. He could tell him everything. And then he'd come home with his test and he'd ace the test. And we'd be like, oh my God. Watson graduated from high school with a 3.0 grade point average and all the credentials he needed to get into and succeed at Azusa Pacific. I'm gonna graduate college and then go back to my high school and be like, I did it. I'm like, tell special ed kids, it's like, dude, like, who cares you're in special ed? Great, just keep working because you can go to college too. It's a process through everything. The kid who was told he would never be college material is now the poster child of the university. Thank <laughs> you.
applying his uncanny visual intelligence now on the football field. He's a smart guy, let's put it that way. Such a remarkable young man. I had a chance to talk to him yesterday, and he always gives the credit to everybody else. He already has over 100 yards rushing tonight. So congratulations to the Watson family. Coming up, we talk to Dr. Tom Haas, the president of Grand Valley State University. That's next. Stay with us.